Ciao y'all, Natalie Kenya here. Today I'm back with part three of the Confusing Italian Word series on my channel, also known as The False Friends. You guys gave me a lot of great ideas in the last two videos in the comment section, so thank you so much. I'm actually utilizing some of your ideas in this video because some words were definitely reoccurring. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have a lot of new content for you guys. If you haven't already watched the previous two videos, make sure to check those out. I will leave those in the description box below. So let's go through a few of these false friends. The first one that was mentioned over and over and over again, sensibile, it actually means sensitive. But sensibile in English sounds like sensible, or at least the spelling does. It's actually ragionevole. So, sensibile and sensitive. It makes zero sense, zero possibility. It's, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'm, 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 not, I'm not believing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. The next word, terrificante. But terrificante sounds like terrific in English. Like, yay, terrific, great, amazing, fantastic. But it's not. Terrificante means terrifying. But of course, terrific is eccezionale or something exceptional. Eccezionale, stupendo, fantastico in Italiano, ma. It doesn't make sense. Why? It just really, this one is really totally different. The next word is ingenuita. And that actually means naivety. Ingenuita actually sounds like ingenuity, but don't make that mistake. That's not the correct word. Ingenuity actually means ingeniosita. So they're so close. The words are so close in their pronunciation that it's basically impossible to distinguish. Ingenuita, ingeniosita. Ingenuita, ingeniosita. Look, okay? This is the mistake I'm gonna continue to make. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make that mistake. <laughs> the next one is a really, really, good point that I am so glad that someone brought up in the previous video. Delusione means disappointment, but delusione sounds like delusion, like you're delusional. Don't worry, it couldn't be that simple for us. It will never be that simple for us. There are a few translations of delusion from English, but one of the main comments I received in the previous video was that delusion is allucinazione. If you think delusion will be delusione, you're wrong. Don't worry, it's allucinazione. So complicated. How do you go from delusion to allucinazione? <laughs> I forgot how to say it. How? How does that make sense? Please, someone tell me. Please, how? <laughs> and the next word is probably one of the ones I ran into during my first time I ever opened an Italian book in its camera, which means room in Italian. But camera sounds definitely like a camera. Camera, like the ones you take pictures on, is actually fotocamera or macchina fotografica. So I have no idea how that even makes a transition from Italian to English. Camera should just be a camera. You can't take pictures with the room, so there you go. There. Thanks Italian. Thanks English. Thanks guys. You are the best. <laughs> so those are a few more confusing Italian words or false friends. If you haven't already, make sure to check the description box below. If you haven't made your way to the other two videos I shot previously, which also demonstrate a lot of these false friends. I hope I was able to help some of you in your Italian English journey today and to not make the same mistakes I have. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have a lot of great new content out for you guys about my life in Italy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, y'all.